The topic of this video is forming the sum, difference, product, and quotient of two functions. Let's look at a problem. Given f of x equals the principal square root of the product 5x, and g of x equals 9x minus 7, find the following. Part a, find f minus g in parentheses of 7. Okay, so what this means is that we've got two functions, f and g, and we want to subtract them. Both of them are being evaluated for the input 7. So this is saying the same thing as f of 7 minus g of 7, which means we just need to plug 7 in for all of the x's in both of these functions. However, we have to be careful with this one because when you subtract, if the thing you're subtracting contains more than one term, then you must use parentheses to ensure that the whole thing is subtracted instead of just the first piece of it. All right, so what are we going to get here? Let's do f of 7 first. Well, f of 7 means replace this x with 7, so we'd have the square root of 5 times 7, then the subtraction sign, then parentheses because we are replacing something that's being subtracted, then g of 7, which means put a 7 in here, 9 times 7, minus 7. All right, now we're going to simplify. So 5 times 7, those are both prime numbers, which means we cannot simplify this radical. So we're just going to multiply that and write that as the square root of 35 minus parentheses. Uh, 9 times 7 is 63. 63 minus 7 is 56. And a radical and an integer cannot be combined, and so this is our final answer. Okay, notice that without these parentheses, we would have done minus 63 minus 7 and gotten minus 70 here, which is a wrong answer. All right, that was part A. Let's move on to part B. Part B asks us to find f dot g of 5. All right, well, f dot g just means take our two functions, f and g, and multiply them. And the 5 tells me that the input of each one is 5. So I'm going to get that. All right, so here we go. First, f of 5. That means I'm going to put a 5 in for the x in the f function. So that's the square root of 5 times 5, multiplication dot, and then g of 5. I'm replacing this with something new, and it has a multiplying neighbor, so I'm going to put it in parentheses, and this 5 is going to go in for the x in that function. All right. All right, now I'm going to begin the simplifying process. So whenever you have a square root and you have two matching factors underneath, they group up and send just one factor out to multiply. And if all factors are perfectly grouped, then they leave no radical symbol behind. In other words, this is just 5. Here, 9 times 5 is 45. And 45 minus 7 is 30, 38. So we've got 5 times 38, which is 190. All right, that's parts A and B. Let's move on to part C. Part C, find f plus g of x. All right, well, this name means that we took two functions, f and g, and added them together. In other words, this is the same thing as saying f of x plus g of x, which for this problem, f of x is the principal square root of the product 5x, g of x is 9x plus 7. And nothing here can be combined. There are no likes. So this is our final answer. 
And then finally that brings up part D. Part D says to find F over G of X. Well, F over G of X just means take our two functions, F and G, and divide them. In other words, this will be F of X over G of X, which in this case is the principal square root of the product 5X divided by the difference 9X minus 7. Nothing here can be simplified, so this is our final answer. And that's the end of this problem.